Hello guys and welcome back. In the previous part, we have successfully developed our form state. Also, we have developed our form repository. So right now we are able to call to this endpoint and get the response. And based on that, we are just returning the response to our form state. And also we have created these uh, required uh, classes to render our JSON data and also we have developed this helper method so right now we are able to use this method and do not repeat ourselves so if you haven't watched the previous video I encourage you to kindly just watch it before watching this one because if you don't watch it you won't be able to catch everything so we have completed this form state and right now it's the time to call it inside our uh, presentation and inside our form. So as I mentioned before, I have just added this sing simple design. So if I just go to the forms, we have this simple design for one question. So I just uh, went you through the code in the previous video. This is the code for this simple one. Okay, so right now what we want is we want same as opportunity we want to have the uh, persisted data. So if I just go to the forms and come back, it is the same where, right? So it is 131. If I go to the forms and come back, you can see it is the same state. How we can implement this one? As I mentioned before, let me close the navigation. It is with a mixing and that's called automatic keep alive mixing. And once we just uh, uh, do this one, you can see right now we need to have uh, some overwrite methods and that overwrite method is uh, keep want to keep alive and it needs to return a boolean so yes we want to keep it as alive and we want to persist it and also what we need is inside the built method we need to call this super dot built and we need to pass the context so that's it and right now we need to have the let me bring it here. We need to have our forum uh, state RM or reactive model. So this is coming from the injector, if you remember, injector, which is a states rebuilder item. So git, and with that, so this git will get the forum state, right? So the form state will have an instance of it. So right now this will get, you know, give us an error and I will tell you why it will give an error. So later on we'll do it. So now uh, what we can do, we can uh, move on. So I don't want to waste your time. I'm just going to copy what we have done in the opportunities page. So inside the opportunities page, you can see here, first of all, we have this scroll controller controller. So I'm going to initialize it here. We have this scroll controller and also we have this did dependencies changed because once we just uh, we go to the, the uh, form state or the form page, we want to call this did change dependencies on it and we want to initialize this scroll controller. And inside that we are initializing this scroll controller and also we need to assign this scroll controller to, to our uh, single child scroll view. So the controller to this is the controller. And also what we need is instead of this get new opportunities. So let me press control D or command D uh, and get uh, just call this one as get questions right because uh, once uh, we just initialize this page and dependencies are changed we want to call this get questions and this get questions is not available because this is the method and we haven't uh, copied that and we need to have this method so let me rename it and inside this method what we want is after uh, initializing the scroll controller we want to just call to this method if you remember uh, from the opportunities and basically we need to just point to our um, forum state and we need to call as set state and inside that what we need to do is let me close this navigation bar so this is our forum state right and this form is inside this form states we want to 
call to this get all questions so why this is not happening because we have this uh, final form state or m and injector.get so let me do one thing hover on it and say the method is this defined on the forum state so why this is not there it is really a strange thing so we have this form state and also we have this one everything is already in place so we have it so it should work right why this is not working i am surprised let me paste it here oh sorry paste it here get all questions so this we call form state and this form state is coming from our states okay so set states so this injector should have it right why this is not there it is completely strange for me let me call it as get as reactive right and let me remove this one and right now it is there so it should work without that oh, oh i missed that i was just using the injector so what i need is if i just call rm or reactive model if you remember and call the get method so i'm able to call the set state on it so i was using the injector that's why i wasn't able to do that uh, if if you remember from the previous video so we have get questions and we are calling to this form state and we call the set state and uh, we are fetching the data or fetching the questions from our repository sorry from our state which is this pointing to this method and once we point to this method it will just check whether to fetch the data or not so basically we are when we are scrolling the data when we are scrolling the data so it's not working right now because we have an error so we are scrolling the data it will fetch chunk of data and it will call to this repository and from the repository we are calling to this method and this method is getting the data from the server so this is all going all the way to this to that point so after initializing the controller and getting the questions for the first time we are adding a listener to our scroll controller and we are checking if these things and previously we have done everything inside the opportunities so whatever we have done is here is basically the things that we have done in the past on the opportunities page if you remember so we have done everything and i explain it uh, each item one by one so right now we are having it but we'll have this error you can see right now and if i just open the uh, console uh, we have a bunch of error and even it's not there so let me refresh the app it is there and if I go to the form you can see we have a blank page so the problems are not showing and inside the debug console you can see we have everything and the point is that index of child is equal to null so the child is null and so on so forth so the injector widgets and something to register model so basically if you see here at the model form state is not registered yet so what's complaining about that right now we are trying to get get this form state which is not initialized yet and we are trying to initialize that that's why we are getting this error so what we need to do is like the previous videos we have done for the opportunities inside the main and inside the injector we need to inject it right so we need to inject it before accessing it so this is dependency injection and we need to implement it right here we need to inject the forum state and once we do that so we need to initialize the form state here and you can say that the form states need the form repository but this form repository is an abstract class so what we need is the form repository implementation forum repository so forum repository impl so IMPL or implementation so let me wow forum repository IMPL so once we are done with this one and if I refresh it right now 
and suppose if I go to the form you can see it's completely working and not complaining about anything and hopefully we are just we fetch the data or the question with even without recognizing it so how we can do that let me close first of all everything and let me go to the uh, the uh, opportunities page if you remember from here we have this single child scroll view and we have appended this uh, controller property to it so we have again we have this estate builder right if you remember so when we are scrolling and we are fetching the new data so we are rebuilding it right this is observing this model so the same way the same procedure we can apply here so let me do one thing let me just uh, copy or cut this container from here to here let me cut it and then instead of returning that container we are retaining a state builder widget and this state builder widget will have a type of that form state so let me initialize that so this one uh, the observe so the observe what we are observing is the form state rm and it needs a builder so this builder will have a context and also a model right so this model and it will return a widget so this is the widget which is returning that's it so now that we have everything in place so this model is basically our reactive model of form states so what we want is let me close this navigation bar what we want is for each and every item that we are getting inside the model.questions right we want to just return this container we want to return this widget or just uh, repeat or display that question so this is our question so this uh, called the container just adding some padding to this one that's it and again we have a column basically the column is let me show the design here the column is the the page and inside that that column we have each question as an item so we have this column and this question or this container from here to here it is just from here to here it is repeating so how we can repeat that we have done this so we can do one thing we can go to the model and inside the model we have the state and also the questions so we can map through each question so we'll have the question and we want to return a gesture detector we have done it previous in the previous video so why we are we want to that we want this one because if we click on any of these questions so let me go at top if we click on any you can see we have this question detail and also comments and everything that we need to implement later so we have this gesture detector and on tap method of this one we want to uh, have a function that's it and for the child of this for the child of this uh, gesture detector we want to return this container so if i save it yeah boom that's that's it we are having all the questions so basically these questions are even even uh, you can see it's paginated because we have done and completed everything so it was completely similar to the opportunities just what we need was like the uh, creating the uh, classes sorry the classes for the form and also implementing the repository the form and the rest was completely repeated so now if you see here we have the same picture for everyone we have the same name same email address and also created by and so on so what we need is we need to just display the correct data and that's it so inside the form so let me just come here and uh, for the data for the name so let me do one thing and that is uh, let me uh, start from the question so let me delete the question and display the question and that is the question dot uh, question and uh, this question is basically 
the question that we are looping and inside that if you see here in it's an instance of this question class so we have the question the created by and comments we'll display the comments later so we have the created by here so we have the question and right now uh, we have the created at and this is our uh, basically uh, the created at uh, which these uh, um, question was created and right now we don't have it basically let me open the uh, questions you can see for the question we have the question created by and comments but let me go here we don't have the created at later on we'll add it okay so this two days will be the same but for the email address this is the email address of who created it so we'll have the question dot created by dot and this is the email address of that person wow i missed it email address and we have the name of the user right so this is the same it is the uh, question dot created by dot name so the first name and plus what we can do is the same way copy and uh, paste it here well what I did so this one and this one so this is the last name the last name oh it was tough right it was repeated and I saved and you can see right now we have everything so thank you for watching and if this video was helpful uh, kindly subscribe and hit the bell button so we continue the uh, building this application in our next videos uh, so yeah wish you a good time